Hello, this is Rattler Man. Tonight's subject is going to be rather unpleasant, and I suggest that you don't watch it before or after a meal unless you give yourself plenty of time. We're going to talk about an unpleasant subject. There's a lot of unpleasant things in this life, and there's a lot of things it has to do with life that anyway the recent presidential inauguration they mentioned the fact that they had to order I forget how many thousands of these uh, portable outhouses portable toilets porta potties they call them I don't like that word I never did I just call it a portable outhouse sometimes uh, we used to call them hockey boxes <laughs> but anyway, <clears throat> these things can be very unsanitary and nasty, and I know a lot of people rent them. There's a lot of companies out there, and some are probably better than others at keeping them clean. The main thing is to service them often, and they take this, come in with this big pumping truck, septic tank service usually, hand, you know, the ones that do the septic tank pumping will do those too. And they come in with this big hose and pull up there and they stick it down this hole where all the business goes and they bring the business back out with this big two to three inch suction hose that is, <clears throat> it's very powerful and they stick it down in there and you can hear it for a long ways off and it's awfully gurgling. <laughs> And just sucking that stuff up in that truck, then they go dump it at the nearest sewage treatment, sewage facility, whatever, and they take care of it. Well, these things can be very unpleasant to use. For instance, well, they use them in rodeos, <clears throat> sporting, outdoor sporting events, chuck wagon races, car races. They're at some dirt track car races, and I'm sure that a lot of people, you know, have some bad deals there, you know, with that. But, uh, for instance, down at Riverfest in the town of Little Rock here in Arkansas, I went down there about three or four years ago, and me and my wife were waiting in line, and she went in first, and I was amazed when she came out that she wasn't sick, because when I got in there, and I, she said she didn't look around much, which there's really nothing to look at in there. It's just get done and get out. But I got in there and I happened to notice that the little urinal thing to the side was full of what looked like somebody's regurgitated chili that they lost. They must have had too much to drink or had too much fun there that day. It was hot and they probably lost their lunch in that little deal. And. Uh, that was, it was almost running over. So that was pretty disgusting. And then my cousin who works out in California, works for a drywall hanging outfit where they work on the inside of houses. He arrived early to work one morning and his guts began to let him know that he had to take care of some business and that's what they had to use was these portable toilets. So he goes to use it. It's dark. The sun hasn't come up yet. He goes to use this thing to do his morning business and he didn't have no light or anything. And he goes in there rather in a hurry and sits down to do his business. Well, he ends up, he sits down the lid is down. Somebody had put the lid down. He didn't, he was in such a hurry, he didn't check. If he would have only raised that top lid up, he would have been all right, but it was down and somebody had got up over that either the night before or earlier that morning and hovered over it and left a big pile of human waste and he sat down in this other person's human waste, and I guess it startled him or whatever, but he slid off into the floor 
of this hockey box, portable toilet, etc. And he ends up getting that person's stuff all over his backside and halfway up his back. He had to go home and take a shower and it caused him to be late starting for his job. But I'm sure he was just glad to get cleaned up and uh, get over such a bad deal. But those are some of the things that can happen in there because, and then the hot weather makes them worse. And then the chemicals they put in there, they make it very bad because they are very strong. That old blue stuff that they put in there, it's got ammonia and I don't know what all it's got in it, but it's supposed to smell nice, but it's pretty horrible. Then you mix that with all the bodily fluids that can end up in there with it. And you've got a uh, cocktail of disaster. We're talking bad. I've been in there where you, it was the, the waste. It would be long overdue for its pumping out. And I've seen that stuff piled up so high that you were afraid to have to sit down, afraid that you might get stuff. It might be little, that's a little too close. And you're liable to end up getting somebody else's waste on your person somehow. And those that is very unpleasant. So that's probably why a lot of people would do the hovering thing and, and I don't know where that must be a bad joke to do a hovering technique in one of those restroom facilities with the seat down. It don't make no sense and it shows uh, no concern for fellow human beings on this earth to do that, knowing that somebody could end up accidentally getting into that. So they're just really nasty. And in this day and time of all kinds of neat, clean stuff, it all goes back to a basic thing. You can't avoid that. It's always going to be happening. And there's just no way to do that without having some kind of very, uh, a self-cleaning bathroom that I've heard about out west. Some of them have, and they cost money to use, and when you get done using it every so many minutes, they automatically clean themselves, totally disinfect, and washes it down, and then it, then it's ready for use again. I've heard of these. I don't know much about it, and you may say, I don't know what I'm talking about. But anyway, I'm talking, but this episode of Rattler Man has been dedicated to the old portable outhouse that's been, they used to be made out of wood. Some of them made out of wood and they were portable, but then they come up with a way to make them out of plastics and fiberglass. And they're real pleasant if you're the first one to use one. But they're, uh, after they've been used a while, they're pretty nasty. So just use them with care and be careful. And you might want to go wash your hands after you've been in one. You might want to wash your whole person after you've been in there. So be safe with these things and uh, take care and use the bathroom well. And think about other people when you use one. And uh, just remember, you like to find them nice but most people when they do that I'm rattling on again but then again that's why I'm the rattler man I guess but when you use one of these things you don't think you're going to have to use it for a long time and that's why a lot of people think it's funny to do something kind of nasty to one and then leave it and knowing that somebody's going to have to deal with it especially the poor guy that has to uh, clean these things up it's just a job to him and no telling that would be the guy I need to have a guest on my show is the guy that drives that truck and has to drive up to each and every one of them, suck them things out, add all them chemicals to make it smell good and try to make something pleasant out of something that is very nasty. Well, anyway, this is Rattler saying goodnight to you. And like I said, take care.